This is the 75288 AT-AT from LEGO Star Wars. In this video we're going to take a look at this set's build and minifigures, and at the end I will give you the price you should pay for this set. The main attraction of this set is an AT-AT build with quite a few features. As far as those features go, we'll start in the legs. Each leg, of which there are four, has three points of articulation. The set is fairly well balanced and poseable, which is nice. As far as the body goes, which is the next major area, you can have Luke rappel up the walker from a rope that drops down from a little area in the front. This rope is movable by a pulley that is accessible underneath the front panel there. And when you're not using this, this can be fully drawn within the walker so it is completely hidden from view. It's also a little compartment in the bottom of the walker for you to throw a detonator into so you can reenact Luke blowing the ATAT -AT to bits. Opening these side panels here reveals seats for five troopers as well as a couple printed consoles and control panels within. There is room for two blasters to be stored which is enough for the snow troopers in this set as well as the E-Web Cannon. Opening the rear panels reveals the speeder, which can be taken in and out from there on some rails. Moving on to the head, there are two points of articulation in the neck. Additionally, there are spring-loaded shooters towards the outside of the bottom of the head, which can be activated by pushing in towards the center line of the set. The interior cockpit area of the set is able to seat three figures. Briefly, to talk about the E-Web Cannon, the only main feature here is that it is holdable by a minifigure. There are no stud shooters or anything to speak of. Additionally, to mention the speeder real quick, the speeder can seat one figure and be ridden. Other than being stored in the walker and that functionality, there's nothing else to mention here. There are a grand total of six minifigures included in this set, four of which are relatively unique, even though the duplicate figures do have different faces underneath. Included figures include Luke Skywalker, General Veers, two AT-AT drivers, and two snowtroopers. This Luke Skywalker figure is the same one from 75235 and 75259. Uses the old style rebel pilot helmet which is a good blessing because the newer one that they made for well, like one set is gone now. Fest printing does appear to be a bit pinkish on this figure which is a common quality issue known for these types of figures and the second face print does show through under the back of the helmet which is again another common issue. I do though respect that the second head print is a goggles up head print which is closer to my constant critique of the Jedi Starfighter Jedi heads which have headsets on both sides of their face. Faces. In this instance, Luke Skywalker is armed with his blue lightsaber and a detonator. The General Veers figure included in the set is quite good. There are no printing quality issues, and it is a fairly accurate figure. Aside from the alternate face, the figure is also equipped with a pair of micro binoculars. As far as the AT-AT drivers are concerned, of which two are included in this set, excluding the face print, these two figures are identical. The driver with the sterner expression has been included in two sets, being 75298 and 75319. Over the driver, driver with the grinning expression is actually unique to this set. There are no printing quality issues on these figures, but the back of the head does show through the helmet, although there being no secondary face, this isn't very big of an issue. Both AT-AT driver figures are armed with a standard blaster pistol. Both of the snow troopers included in this set are unique to this set and are exactly the same barring the two different face prints. There are no printing quality issues on either of these figures and the printing does seem fairly accurate. Each snow trooper is armed with a standard blaster. So now that we've seen everything that this set has to offer, let's talk about value. This set is $159.99 in the United States at retail. Extra parts included are as pictured. At $0.10 cents per piece, this set would cost $126.70. Based on the volume of what is included here, I would put this at a $130 price point. If you average those two together, you get $128.35. In order to get this set for that price on sale, you would need to find a discount of at least 20% off. So that is about the price that I think you should pay for this set. All in all, it is a very good ATAT. -AT and if you don't have any AT-ATs, this is a pretty good one to pick up. That's going to be concluding my review of this set. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.